I listen to English composition. I'm Michael Chang. I'm with Cher Chen today. 各位同学，大家好，欢迎回来英文作文课程。我是 Cher， 在我身边的是郑老师。And today in Unit 15, we will learn about comparing two items. 好，那在今天呢，我们要为各位同学讲解的是第十五个单元，也就是呢，我们要学习如何去比较两件事物。And so today we're going to write、uh, a short paragraph that compares a person's preferences to two items, and we'll also teach you how to compare and contrast two items using comparative adjectives. 好，那我们这个单元之中呢，将会去写学习如何去写作一个简短的段落，来对比人在两件事物之中到底应该选择哪一件呢？哦，那除了这个之外呢，我们还会学习到，当我们遇到比较的状况的时候，该怎么样去使用所谓的比较级的形容词。And we're going to start off by talking about making choices. And so there must have been some kind of situation in which you were faced between making a choice between two items. 好，那首先呢，我们先来谈论一下要怎么样去做决定啊。那各位同学想必都有很多需要做出抉择的经验。And so sometimes when you are making a choice, you can have something that's kind of an inconsequential choice. And so this might be, for example, choosing tea or coffee with a meal, or whether to have a soft drink with a meal. 好，那有一些选择呢，其实啊、哦，它并不会造成什么很严重的后果，因此呢是比较容易下决定的。像是呢，你吃饭的时候应该选择要搭配着喝茶，还是喝咖啡，甚至还是喝汽水呢？哦，这是属于比较不严重的决定。Right, and then other times you might have a choice that's a little bit more difficult. And so, for example, maybe you have to decide whether to buy a piece of clothing or not based upon a budget that you have. 好，那有些时候呢，有些选择哦是比较困难的。比如说，当你要选择说能不能买某一件衣服的时候呢，哦，你可能还要考虑到你的这个预算的部分。那像这样的选择就会比较困难。And then finally, you might have a choice that's very, very important and can be quite difficult to make, such as which job to choose if you're offered two different positions. 好，那有些时候呢，你可能还要面对更困难而且更重要的选择，比如说像这个要买呃哪一个呃要买哪个车子啊，或是要选择什么样的工作啊，哦，这都是属于比较困难的一个选择。And then now there are also some other times where you may be asked to help someone else to make a decision. And so in these situations, writing down the advantages or disadvantages of the choices can really help us to make the right decision. 好，那有些时候呢，甚或你必须要帮别人去做决定哦。那像这种情况之下呢，哦，把这个各种选择的优点跟缺点条列出来，可以让你正确的抉择更容易的被显示出来。And so one good thing about writing is it helps you to organize your thoughts logically. And in addition, if you can organize your opinions very logically, then this can mean that you can often make a very convincing argument if you're trying to give some advice to someone else. 好，那这时候呢，写作哦，可以帮助各位同学能够有逻辑性的去厘清你的思绪，然后呢，哦，你也可以把你的意见呢，能够有条理的组织起来。如果各位同学具备这一项能力的话呢，当然我们也可以想见，你应该能够有能力去提出做强而有力的论点，去帮助别人下定他们的决心。All right, and so today we're going to learn how to write a comparison contrast paragraph. 好，那也就因此呢，我们今天要教各位同学如何去学习写作一篇所谓的对比论说的段落。And so now let's start learning about comparing and contrasting in our writing focus. 好，那接下来呢，在我们的写作重点的部分，我们先来各位各位同学讲解关于对比论说的这个部分。Now the comparison contrast essay can be used to illustrate the similarities and differences between one idea or image and another. 好，所谓的对比论说文呢，它可以用来在描述一个想法、一个意向，还就有一些想法之间呢，哦，他们的相同处跟相异处。And to compare two things is to find the similarities between them, while to contrast is to find the differences. 好，我们之所以呢叫它做对比论说文呢、哦，哦，是因为呢，我们首先第一个要比较两件事情，去找出它们的相同的地方。接着呢，我们要去对比两件事情，去找出它们不同的地方。And so, from these comparisons,、uh, we can often see an idea or an image from a new angle, and so therefore, this kind of comparing can help us to understand, can give us more understanding, or can give us a reason to choose one item or another. 好，那像这样子的比较呢，就能够通常帮助我们哦，从一个新的观点去看看这个想法或是这个意向。好，那进一步来讲呢，当然这样子的比较呢，哦，还有理解就可以帮助我们去做出最后的抉择，然后提出好的理由。
And so now, how can we compare or contrast two things? Let's take a look at some pre-writing activities that you can follow. 好，那我们要如何去进行这样子一个比对跟比较的一个过程呢？哦，那接下来我们要要为各位同学介绍一些有用的前置作业可以进行的活动。All right, so now first you can use a Venn diagram to help visualize the process of comparing and contrasting. 好，那首先呢，我们先为各位同学介绍到的这个工具呢，叫做范式图。你可以使用范式图呢，来帮助你去把你这个比较跟对比的过程能够呈忠实的呈现出来。And Venn diagrams consist of two circles, and you can analyze similarities and differences between two things by placing individual characteristics in either the left or right circle, and then common characteristics within the overlapping part in the middle. 好，那范式图呢是由两个圆圈圈所构成的、哦。你可以借由在这个左半的圆圈或是右半的圆圈放置个别不同的角色或是特色。哦，那接下来在这两个圆圈重叠的部分呢？哦，它也就会显示出来这两样东西相同或是呃共同具备的一些特色。And now the second pre-writing activity that we can talk about is to draw a T-chart. 好，那接下来要讲的第二种你可以进行的活动呢？哦，就是画一个所谓的梯形图。And so we can see on the screen now a T-chart, and what we do here is We have one. We list and examine two facets of a topic. 好，所谓的梯形图呢，各位同学在屏幕上所看到的，我们会发现，我们可以把一个一个主题它的两个面向哦，这个做出一个条列哦，拿一个清单，那我们就可以来检视这样的图表。And so, for example, we can take our topic and we can talk about the pros and cons associated with it, or we can talk about the in um the advantages and disadvantages, or facts and opinions about it. 好，那像是呢，我们可以利用这个梯形图哦，去列出一件事情你赞成或是反对的两个面向哦，或者是它的优点以及缺点啊。那当然，我们也可以列出所谓的事实或者是个人意见。And however, a T-chart is best for deciding to choose or not to choose about one single topic. In other words, it's used for analyzing two sides of an object or two sides of a single object. 哦，然而呢，所谓的梯形图哦，它最好是被用来在于去考量说同一个主题，一个单一主题它的不同面向。也就是说呢，哦，它比较适合是用来分析一件事物情的的好或坏。And so, for example, if you want to decide whether to go to a movie or not, you can use a T chart to go、uh, to list the reasons to go to the movie and list the reasons not to go to the movie. 好，那举例来讲呢，如果你今天晚上要决定说要不要去看电影啊，那你可以使用梯形图来帮你列出应该去看电影或是不应该去看电影的各种原因。And then our third method for comparing and contrasting is to form something called a compare contrast matrix. 好，那接下来第三个这个可以使用的一个工具呢，哦，如果你想要比较两件物品的话，那你可以试试看接下来这个哦所谓的对比呃比较对照图。And so the compare-contrast matrix is used to help understand the similarities or differences between objects. And so basically, you have the you in the two columns, you place the main objects, and then along the side in the rows, you have the different attributes that you want to compare and contrast. 好，那很明显的呢，我们可以看到哦，所谓的比较对照图是用来帮助理解两件物品之间的相同以及相异的地方。所以呢，这个时候各位同学可以在这个呃每一个栏位上面呢，哦放上你的事物，像是 A 或 B。那接下来在横的这个横线上面呢，我们则放上了用于比较的这些相关的特征。And so we've talked about some different methods of comparing and contrasting, but what we need to do is use some real examples. And so we're going to take a break now, and then after the break, we'll show you some. We'll fill in these different charts with some real examples. 好，那我们刚刚跟为各位同学介绍了三种可以使用的工具哦。那我们接下来要做的呢，当然就是来看一些一个真实的例子。然后呢，我们可以利用这些表格哦。那我们刚刚讲到这些工具来做一些资料的分析。那现在我们先休息一下，待会回来我们会带各位同学来做一些练习。What we're going to do now is take a comparison contrast matrix, and we're going to fill it in with some real information. 好，各位同学，欢迎回来。接下来呢，我们要为了让呃使用这个比较对照图哦，然后呢，我们来看一段影片。接下来呢，我们利用影片中的资料来填入这个比较对照图之中。<音楽> 
And we're gonna use uh, information about bagels to fill in our comparison contrast matrix. And a bagel is a type of bread, it's shaped like a ring, and the special thing about it is that it's boiled first and then it's baked. 好，那我们之所以要放在这个比较对照图中的内容呢，是跟贝果有关哦。所谓的贝果呢，它指的就是一种环形的这种面包哦。它会先将面团煮过之后才进行烘焙，像各位同学在荧幕上看到的这样。And we are going to watch a short video about two different kinds of bagels, and we want you to take notes about what they discuss and what some of the differences between the two bagels are. 好，那接下来我们会看一段影片。这段影片呢，主主要就是在讨论两种不同品牌的贝果、哦。那请各位同学边看影片的时候呢，请同时拿支笔、拿张纸，然后呢，把这两种贝果这个讨论的过程中提到的一些特色做下令的笔记。Right, let's watch our video now. 好，我们现在先来看看这段影片。Excuse me, could you please take part in a product survey? Sure. Thank you. Please follow me here. I have two bagels here. This is bagel A. It's a plain bagel and it costs $30. This is bagel B. It's a whole wheat energy bagel and it costs $50. Could you please try them both and let me know which one you like better? Okay. What do you think? I like bagel A better. Why do you like bagel A better? I think it is tastier and more attractive than bagel B. Do you have any comments on bagel B? Yes, I think bagel B is too dry and too hard to chew. What do you think about the prices of the two bagels? I think bagel B is too expensive. Do you have time to answer some personal questions on your background? Okay. Thank you. Could you fill out the background information on this form? Certainly. Thank you so much. And please accept this gift for taking part to help us with our product survey. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excuse me, could you take part in a product survey? Mm, okay. Please follow me here. I have two bagels here. This is bagel A. It's a plain bagel and it costs $30. This is bagel B. It's a whole wheat energy bagel and it costs $50. Can you try them both and let me know which one you like better? This one looks healthy. Yes, it's filled with ingredients that boosts your body. What do you think of the two bagels? I like a bag B because it's whole with wheat and healthier than the other bagel. Do you have any comments on bagel A? It's a little soft. It's more like bread than a bagel. I think a bagel should be drier and harder so you can put butter and jam on it. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the prices of the two bagels? The prices are fine. Bagel B is more expensive, but I think it's worth it. Do you have time to answer a few more questions on your personal background? Mm, okay. Thank you. Could you fill out the background information on this form, please? Mm, sure. Thank you so much for your time. And please accept this gift for taking time to help us with our product mm, survey. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some information that we got from those interviews and we're going to put them into a comparison contracts matrix. 好，现在呢，我们要把这段访问中所得到的一些资讯稍微做个整理哦。然后呢，我们会把这些资讯放进我们刚刚所提到的比较对照图里面。Alright, now first we need to figure out how to label our two columns. 好，那首先呢，在我们开始画这个比较对照图前哦，我们要先决定要怎么样把这两个呃这个图片中哦一些栏位呢做一个命名。And we can label our two columns this way if we want to make a direct comparison between bagel A and bagel B. 好，那如果我们想要直接比较两种 bagel 的话呢，我们可以把这个纵向栏的部分直接取名为 bagel A 以及 bagel B. And next, we want to put the attributes that we want to compare into the rows. 好，那接着呢，我们把这个横向列的部分放进去，我们想要比较的一些属性跟特色。And so you can see, we want to compare the taste, 
ingredients and prices of the two bagels. 好，你会发现呢，我们现在想要比较两种贝果的特色哦，分别是它们的口味、它们的成分以及它们的价格。And next, what we're going to do is check our interview notes to find out some information about these two different kinds of bagels. 好，那接下来呢，我们就要回头看看我们刚刚做的笔记啦。哦，关于这两种 bagel 在这三个方面各有什么样的一些讯息。And one thing we found out is that bagel A costs thirty dollars each. 好，那首先我们会发现呢 ，bagel A 它的价格呢是呃每一个三十块钱。And bagel B costs fifty dollars each. 好，那至于 bagel B 呢，哦，它的价格是五十块钱一个。We also found out that bagel A is a plain bagel, and this means that it's made of wheat flour or white flour. 好，我们会发现呢 ，A 牌的这个 bagel 哦，它是属于原味的 bagel 哦，那这代表呢，它是使用白面粉做的。And bagel B though is made out of whole wheat flour. 好，那至于 B 牌的这个 bagel 呢，哦，它只是使用全麦面粉所做的。And then, when we look at the opinion of the two shoppers, we found out that the first shopper thought that bagel A was tasty and soft, while bagel B was dry and chewy. 好，那如果接下来我们看看我们做出来的笔记哦，包括这两个客人的意见的时候，我们会发现第一个消费者他觉得 A 牌的贝果很好吃哎，而且很松软，但是 B 牌的贝果呢太干了哦，而且呢很难咀嚼。Now, another way to fill in our comparison contrast matrix is to put the opinions of the two shoppers that we interviewed into the columns. 好，那接下来另外一种可以填进比较对照图的资讯呢，则是这两个消费者他们对于这两种 bagel 的意见。And so then we can also find out that we found out、um, opinions about the taste, price, and preference of the bagel from the two shoppers. 好，我们可以发现呢，这两位消费者、哦、对这两种贝果的口味、价格以及他们在个呃个人的偏好上面呢，哦，都持有不同的意见哦。And we find that shopper one, who's Emily Lee, thinks that bagel A is tasty, but bagel B is dry and too chewy. 好，首先我们会发现呢，哦，第一个消费者哦，也就名字叫做 Emily Lee， 哦，他呢觉得说 bagel A 它的口味呢，哦，比较松软。哦，那 bagel B 呢？它太干涩了，而且呢，太难咀嚼了。And then if we find out what shopper two, who's Amy Wang, thought, she said that、um, bagel A was too soft and bagel B was better for eating with butter and jam. 好，那如果我们再看看这个第二个消费者哦，她的名字叫做 Amy Wang。哦，那她觉得呢， bagel A 呢，它这吃起来太松软了。Bagel B 呢？啊，这是比较容易有嚼劲，而且呢，比较适合搭配着奶油跟这个果酱呢来做食用。And we also found out that the first shopper also thought that Bagel B was too expensive, while shopper two thought Bagel B was worth the price. 好，那我们也会发现呢，这个第一位消费者呢，他觉得 Bagel B 啊实在太贵了。哦，那但是呢，第二个消费者呢，则觉得 Bagel B 啊，它这个价格是非常值得的。And then finally, the first shopper. Preferred bagel A because it was tastier and more attractive. 好，那最后呢，我们会发现第一位消费者哦，他比较倾向于喜欢这个 bagel A， 因为呢，他觉得 bagel A 呢，它比较好吃，而且呢，比较具有吸引力。And then the second shopper preferred bagel B because it was healthier and worth the price. 好，那第二位这个消费者呢，他比较喜欢 bagel B 哦，因为他觉得呢， bagel B 它比较健康，而且呢，这个价格啊，非常值得。And so now, from these comparison contrast matrices, we got a lot of good information for comparing bagel A and bagel B that we can use for writing an essay. 好，那光是我们刚刚所所收集到这些资料哦，我们就可以把这些讯息呢转换成句子，然后呢就可以改编成短文了。And we're going to take a break now. When we come back from the break, we are going to show you some sentences that we can actually write from the information in the comparison contrast matrix. 好，我们现在呢会先休息一下，待会休息回来之后呢，我们会来看看要怎么样把这项资讯呢写成句子。Welcome back. Let's write some sentences now that make a direct comparison between the two kinds of bagels. 好，欢迎各位同学回来。接下来呢，我们要来写一些句子啊、哦，然后呢来比较这两种不同品牌的贝果。All right. Here's our first sentence.、Um, bagel A is softer than Bagel B. 好，首先呢，我们可以先比较一下，我们会得到说 Bagel A 它比呃比起 Bagel B 吃起来比较松软
All right, another sentence that we could make is bagel B is drier than bagel A. 接下来我们还可以得到另外一个句子是 bagel B 它吃起来比 bagel A 来的干涩。All、right, another sentence. Bagel A is tastier than bagel B. 好，接下来 bagel A 它是比起 bagel B 而言比较好吃。And then bagel A is less expensive than bagel B. Bagel A 比起 bagel B 而言比较便宜。And then one more example is bagel B is more expensive than bagel A. 哦，那 bagel B 相对比起 bagel A 而言是相对比较贵的。And so, in all these examples, we're using the comparative form of an adjective to compare the bagels. 好，那在以上这些例子里面呢，我们会发现啊，我们都使用了形容词的比较级来比较这两种贝果。And we normally form the comparative form of an adjective by adding er to adjectives that are one syllable long or two syllables and end in the letter, in the letter y. 好，那我们会发现呢，通常我们要形成比形容词比较级的方式哦，是在这个单音节的形容词后面加上 er， 或者是呢在双音节但是字尾为 y 的这种形容词后面呢，一样我们加上 er， 但是首先要先去掉 y 哦，加上 i 之后再加上 er 这个字尾。And so if we look at the sentence bagel A is softer than bagel B, we can see we have the adjective soft and we added er to it. 好，我们会发现呢，在这个 bagel A is softer than bagel B 这个句子里面 ，softer 哦 ，soft 是它的形容词，然后在字尾加上了 er。And then in the sentence bagel A is tastier than bagel B, we have the word tastier, the adjective tasty, took off the y, changed into i, and then we added er。好，那接下来我们看到 tastier 这个形容词，原本的形容词是 tasty， 哦，是 y 做这个结尾。那我们接下来我们就把这个 y 去掉哦，那改成 i 之后再加上 er 就得到了 tastier 哦，这个形容词的比较级。Another rule is that if we have a one-syllable adjective that ends with a single consonant, we should double this consonant before adding er. 好，那另外还有一个规则呢哦，也就是如果是单音节的形容词，而且结尾是单一的一个子音，它的形容词比较级就需要再重复这个子音一次，然后再加上 er。And in this sentence, soup is hotter than ice cream. We have the adjective hot, and we had we doubled the t before we added the er. 好，那像这个句子里面，我们可以看到 hotter 哦，原本的形容词的原型是 hot, h o t 哦。那因为这里的这个是单音节的字哦，而且是 t 的子音作为结尾，因此呢，我们重复了 t 再加上 er, hotter. All right, so we have some other adjectives that are two or more syllables, and we form their comparative version by adding a word like more or less in front of the adjective. 好，那有一些形容词呢是双音节或者是超过两个音节，那这时候呢，我们就在形容词前面加上 more 或是 less 来形成所谓的比较级。And then finally, there are some other adjectives that we call irregular. And they're not formed by adding er or by adding more or less, and you just have to memorize the new forms of these words. 好，那最后呢，有一些形容词哦，它的比较级是属于不规则的变化哦。那像这种方式呢，哦，你就别无选择，你只好记住它了。And if you look at the table on page 201 of your textbook, you'll find a chart that explains the many different ways of forming comparatives. 好，那各位同学，如果想要知道更多把形容词原型变成比较级的这个变化方式呢，你们可以参考课本的第两百零一页，这边有个表格可以告诉你所有的变化方式。All right, let's take a look at some other sentences that we can form. We can make some very general sentences about the preferences of the shoppers. 好，那我们可以呢写出比较笼统的句子哦，来表达消费者的偏好。And so look at this sentence. Emily Lee liked bagel A better than bagel B. 我们看这个句子写的是 Emily Lee， 她比较喜欢 Bagel A 胜过 Bagel B。And let's show you some variations of this。好，那我们可以看看这个同样的一个意思啊、哦，我们要怎么样做一些这个句型上的改变 ？And so we could have another sentence: Emily Lee liked Bagel A more than Bagel B。好，那同样这个句子我们可以写成呃、uh, more than 哦、oh, ，Emily Lee liked Bagel A more than Bagel B。All right. Another sentence we could make is Amy Wong preferred Bagel B to Bagel A. 好，那接下来这个句子则是 Amy Wong 是喜欢 Bagel B 胜过 Bagel A. And then, or else Amy Wong preferred Bagel B over Bagel A. 好，那接下来这个句子的意思也是一样，就是喜欢 Bagel B 胜过 Bagel A， 只不过它使用的方式哦 ，prefer to 变成 prefer over. And then finally, let's look at some another way of making a comparison. How about if we give some reasons for the preferences? 好，那同时呢，我们当然可以提出一些原因，然后来作为这个比较的一个对吧依据。
and we could have a sentence like this one. Emily preferred bagel A because it was tastier and more attractive than bagel B. 好，我们可以写出这样的句子。哦 ，Emily 喜欢 bagel A， 因为呢，它吃起来啊比较好吃，而且呢比较有魅力，哦，胜过 bagel B。And then we can also make a comparison with some more negative reasons. 哦，那当然我们也可以使用比较负面的意见来当做原因作为比较。We could say something like, Emily did not like bagel B because it was too dry and too hard to chew. 啊，我们可以写说 ，Emily 不喜欢 bagel B， 因为它吃起来口感太干了，而且很难咀嚼。Now let's take a look at our writing model and see, pay attention to how we compare the two bagels. 好，接下来我们来看看写作范例，请各位同学特别注意文章中是怎么样去比较这两种贝果的。There are two major brands of bagel on the market, and customers may wonder which one is better than the other. 市场上有两种主要的贝果品牌，消费者可能会思考说哪一种会比较好。Emily Lee, a 35-year-old housewife living in Taipei, said that she liked bagel A better than bagel B during an, an interview. Emily Lee 是一个三十五岁住在台北的家庭主妇，在接受访问时，她说她比较喜欢 A 牌的贝果胜过 B 牌的贝果。She preferred bagel A because it was tastier and more attractive than bagel B. She did not like bagel B because it was too dry and too hard to chew. 她比较喜欢 A 牌的贝果，因为它比起 B 牌来好吃的多，而且也比较具有吸引力。他不喜欢 B 牌的贝果，因为它尝起来口感太干涩，而且太难咀嚼。On the other hand, Amy Wong, the other interviewee who is a 28-year-old secretary from Kaohsiung, preferred bagel B over bagel A. 另一方面，另一位受访者 Amy Wang， 她是一位二十八岁住在高雄的秘书，她比较喜欢 B 牌的贝果胜过 A 牌的贝果。She thought that bagel B. Was made with whole wheat and thus was healthier. She did not care about the dry texture because she often ate bagels with jam or butter. 她认为 B 牌的贝果是用全麦做的，比较健康。她并不介意干涩的口感，因为她总是会搭配着奶油或是果酱一起吃。Regarding the price, Emily considered bagel B too expensive, but Amy thought bagel B worth every penny. These two customers seem to have. Different opinions and preferences. 至于价钱的部分 ，Emily Lee 认为 B 牌的贝果比较贵，但是 Amy Wang 觉得 B 牌的贝果值得这个价钱。这两位消费者看起来各有不同的意见及喜好。All right, and so when we look at this writing model, you can see that we took a lot of the information that we put in our T charts or into our comparison contracts matrix, and we put them into this writing model. 好，我们在看这个写作范例的时候呢，会发现我们从这个比较对照图里面获得了很多资讯，然后放进了我们的写作范例之中。And let's talk about what you can do now in terms of writing. 好，那至于各位同学这个礼拜能够做什么呢？现在我们来讨论一下。And so first of all, what you should do is review the material in this unit. There's a lot more grammar that we didn't go over in the show, so review the material and do the grammar exercises. 好，那首先呢，各位同学当然要先去复习一下这个单元所提到的一些细节，那包含这个文法的部分呢，请各位同学仔细的阅读，然后完成文法的练习。And then after that, go on and do the writing activity on your own. 那最后呢，也请各位同学自己去完成所谓的写作实习的部分。Thanks for joining us this week for English Composition, and we'll be back with you again next week. 好，谢谢各位同学今天的参与，我们下个礼拜再见。